So today we're going to be removing the film off of this car. This is my 2016 Ford Explorer and I have 35% uh, on it right now with 35% on the windshield. So today what I'm going to be doing is removing the film off this and replacing it with another film called Helios Supernova, which is a higher end heat rejection film. Okay, so we're just gonna use a heat gun to remove the film. You can use a steamer, and a lot of people do, but on the side windows, it's easy enough just to remove um, door windows and scrape off the glue if it leaves any behind with a heat gun. So I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna warm this up. Start it over in one of my corners. And this is actually coming off really easy. with just leaving the glue on the film rather than the glass, so I don't have to take any extra steps. I can just do this for the entire window. This should only take a minute or two. Now, if you're gonna pull too hard, it's probably gonna leave glue behind, so just kinda take your time with it. The glass is still a little cold. So we got that top. Want to also be very careful of the panels when you use a heat gun because you can burn them. Hot. And there we go. Okay, so normally I would actually be hand cutting these, but today. I just figured I'd be lazy and cut them out on the plotter. And let's overlap because I don't know how to space out my patterns. So I ended up cutting these out on the plotter because the height of them is close to 36 inches together. So that basically allows me to just save film and cut it on a 36 inch roll rather than hand cut them and um, be a little bit off, I would have had to unbox a 20 inch roll. So I'm actually just flatter cutting these. It'll be fine. So all I'm gonna do to shrink these is squeegee out some of the excess water behind the film and then take my heat gun, put some heat on the bottom. Just get some heat and curl the top edge. And that's honestly about all you need. These aren't curved very much. Just needs a little bit. Okay, so I normally don't like doing this. But for the sake of a new video, we're gonna mask off the door so I don't hear about water so much in the comments. There we go, masked off. So that's probably gonna be the top comment anyways, because I said something about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. Just so I can see. I'm actually gonna be peeling them off of the glass board, so I don't have to do this. Now if I was hand cutting these, this would already be done on this side. But since I'm filming, I forget stuff. Ta-da. Okay. So it's a little hard to get an exact angle on this, but I need to clean the window on the inside. Make sure that there was no glue left behind. Um, I don't think there was any glue left behind. You can kind of feel for it and look for it. But just because I want to be extra careful, I'm just going to go over it with a razor blade. Typically, I use uh, just a gator blade but for this one in particular today, we're gonna use a razor blade. Anytime there's glue, um, possible glue involved, I'll go over it with a razor blade. Okay. So I have my glass all scraped and now I'm gonna squeegee it. So you 
about the size. Do it again, just to be sure. Should be fine on the first time, but I typically go over it twice just to make sure it's clean. And then I'll spray down the sides. I use a little bit more water than most people, but my windows also turn out nice. So it's just the way it is. So I'm gonna go grab my pattern. It's on a glass board. I'm just gonna peel that and bring it over. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this up on the window. Slide it into one side and then bring it back over the other way. See how well this top edge lines up. Now this is a computer cut pattern, so these top edges are not always perfect. They tend to have a little more of a gap, which is why I want, I prefer to hand cut. So for the sake of saving some film and laziness, I ended up going with a plotter. I really don't care if you use a plotter or if you hand cut, as long as your customer is happy and the job turns out well, then fucking go for it. The top edge actually lined up pretty well on this plotted pattern, so that's always a good thing. And roll this up. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse out this bottom edge because when you pull up the window, it brings dirt up with it. So you just gotta wash it out. So now we're gonna start on one side, peel it out, toss it over in your foot well, and I'm gonna wash these out a little more, mainly because I don't wanna get a mystery piece of shit in there. So now we're gonna roll this up. We're gonna... These are actually pretty short patterns, so they tuck easy, but I don't like how they stick so close to the, to the seals on the inside. I like to tuck them a little bit lower. Another reason why I prefer hand cutting, but um, sometimes the software will give you options for longer or shorter patterns. These were the longest ones that they offered but they're still a little bit short, which is also probably why they fit on a 36 inch roll. So I guess. Next time, future reference on my car, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand cut it. And we can peel this off. So you're gonna get a little bit water that runs underneath it. This tape doesn't seal too well, but overall keeps your switches dry and does the job. Please tell me I don't have a scratch. I might have a scratch. So I fucked up. You see this line right here? I'm trying to get the light just right. Pretty sure I scratched it. It looks a little weird on this film, but yeah, I screwed up. So yeah, totally forgot to film an outro for this video. Um, yeah, stripped in, retinted the front doors on uh, my Explorer. I wasn't really sure which direction to go with that video, so I just figured I'd film the whole thing and see what comes of it. But uh, if you like the video, um, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.